and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for a special stream today. We're doing our monthly sub battle stream. Uh, we didn't get to last, it's supposed to be the last Saturday of the month. We didn't get to last Saturday as I was gone on my uh, weekend vacation. So we're doing it this weekend. Uh, this is where I play against subscribers for the whole stream. I have a wheel that I'm going to be spinning that has 44 different decks from the decks that we've played uh, just kind of on stream throughout the last few weeks to uh, decide what deck I'm playing each round. So I'm going to be playing a different deck every round. The subscribers bring their fun, interesting decks each round. And it's a lot of fun. And you get to see a whole lot of cool card interactions and everything and learn some new things about Standard during these sub battle streams. And so that's what we're going to be uh, doing right now. So first up, we're... Uh, in the, uh, in the chat right now, we're going to see who's going to be our first person to face me. We're going to have Fluky Flit. <laughs> All right, so send, so send me that gamer tag, Fluky Flit. Thank you so much. Um, and then do you want standard or historic? I guess I, that's the other thing, is you have to just let me know standard or historic. We could do either one. All right, so we're going to be playing standard. All right, let's kick this off. Let's see what deck we're playing. Ayara's Citadel. All right, it's been a minute since we've taken a look at this deck. And I'm not updating the deck list command each time. It just kind of would it would take too much time to do that. But I'm showing the deck that we're playing each. Ah, I'm showing the deck that we're playing each round before we play it. So you can see the deck list. Um, Ayara's Citadel. <laughs> I got a lot of Ayara decks. Here we go. So this one's mono black, and why does it have this thing? Oh, the castle. Yeah, apply that style. Um, so it's mono black, just trying to get, you know, it does have the cauldron familiar witches oven combo. I guess I was only using three witches ovens back in the day. Last time that we played this, which was probably a month and a half ago, probably. Um, so yeah, let's give this a try. Here we go. Red deck wins tomorrow, first slot. Best of one. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much there, Kendis. And remember, remember, Kendis, tomorrow we're starting early, 1 o'clock, with it being the Sunday stream. Cool. So, yeah, I mean, best of one mono red, it, it shouldn't lag too much. That should be a good option. Uh, for those of y'all watching on YouTube, we were just talking about how uh, for tomorrow and Monday, I, after today, we have two more streams before I build my new computer, before the case is in. And so for Monday's already a best of one day anyway. And I think tomorrow for Sunday, I'm going to be doing a lot of best of one as well. And um, best of one should be better as far as the lag goes, because the games just the games are a lot shorter. And so that should be a lot better. So we're gonna have best of one day Sunday and best of one day Monday, back to back. I do have one best of three donation deck though to play. Um, I'm gonna go with the Midnight Reaper here because I think Fluky has a removal spell shocking in here. And I'd rather have the Midnight Reaper die to a removal spell than the uh, Yara. That was a painful remo removal spell. Fluky lost two life. I lost one life. We're all losing life over here. Wicked. Uh, 
This deck doesn't have that many lands. I think it has 23, I think. I guess it could be a 24 land deck. It's probably one of, one of those two. There's the Citadel. All right, we got a Yara next turn. Hope Fluky's out of removal spells now. And then we got the Citadel. And because the point of this deck is to just kind of machine gun down their life total with the help of a Yara with the triggered ability there. Yeah, it's looking good. No, don't kill the Ayara. Looking good as long as Ayara doesn't die, that is. Okay. Let's get stuff started with a Fabled Passage. Never mind. We'll get stuff started next turn. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. Y'all are on team chat. So yeah, y'all are cheering for Fluky. All right, block here. We're down to 10. Oh, man. I, I guess I shouldn't say that today. Not we're down to 10. I'm down to 10. Y'all are still at 13. Yeah, Citadel, land. All right, so seven. Back to eight. Back down to seven. Hmm. I may not want to play this Midnight Reaper. Let's see. I'm probably fine. Hmm. Maybe not. I'll just draw it. All right, Fable Passage is the best land to hit here because that's another land we get a reshuffle. Perfect. That's a great card to hit. I think I can just, um, wait, sack this thing. That'll be draw three. So I think I can just cast that Midnight Reaper and not pay the three life. Actually, I was kind of dead. I guess I guess I couldn't really play the Midnight Reaper. Or at least I couldn't. I couldn't actually win that turn because I was I was stuck on. You know, I didn't get another land there. So actually, because I couldn't, I don't think. Yeah, I could not activate the Bola Citadel, even though it looked like I could. But I actually couldn't because the Midnight Reapers would kill me because. 
basically, you know, it's tap, sack 10 non-land permanents. And then each opponent loses 10 life. That trigger goes on the stack. But then all these Midnight Reapers would trigger. So the two of them. So I would have lost 10 life. So I couldn't, I couldn't actually activate the Citadel there. But of course, my opponent had like one turn to kill me or kill a Yara. Um, yeah. No, I, you can't really rearrange those triggers. Because this is like... This is like the activated ability, like you do this first, you sack the 10 non-land permanents, and that just goes on the stack first, and then all the min... The, you can stack the Midnight Reaper triggers, because those all go on the, the stack at the same time, but these go on the stack at different times. Uh, as far as sideboard, I don't know if there's anything to change. Let's see, so there is 24 lands in here. That is kind of a lot. Didn't I change these? Oh, well, I'm just going to run it back. Hey, what's up, Boot? Sub battle hype. No, it's a good, good question, Frisky Biscuits. You, you don't have to apologize for a newbie question. It's a good question. Yeah, exactly, Fire Aspen. Yep, you che cheer for me all week, so now change of pace. Y'all are cheering for Fluky Flit. And, you know, cheering for your team chat. Teammates. Yeah, why can't your cat that open with three cats in an oven? Yeah, I, I can say that I, I don't know if I've ever opened with three cats in an oven before. That's just a very good opening hand, for sure. And now Pri Priest of Forgotten Gods that can ramp into Citadel. Oh, is there Legion's End? Oh, man, a Legion's End would be clutch. Oh, no Legion's End. No, no Legion's End, Fluky. Don't do it. This could be a Legion's end to win the game. So I'm not activating a Priest of Forgotten Gods this turn. I'm going to wait until next turn. And basically wait until I have four lands. I want it because I want to be able to draw a fourth land, play it, activate Priest, add two mana, cast Bola Citadel. That's my goal. Yeah, triple spell on turn three. Yeah, I kind of thought there was probably another Knight of Autumn since, since one just left. Not too surprised there. But also, I like... I like that the... Uh, that was just my best draw step, by the way. I like that the Knight of Autumn destroyed the Witch's Oven and not the Citadel, right? So, like, I kind of used the Oven as bait to try to protect Citadel as well. And that's why that's the reason to not bring back familiar because I'm not attacking with it anyway. But if I, you know, I, I could draw the Ayara, which would be the reason not to bring back the familiar at that point. We'll bring it back now to trigger this. Um, so I could activate priest. So I basically I could tap the priest. Yeah, I guess we do because we get to draw a card. And then they don't get to exile. And I guess I sacrifice the gutter bones. Basically trade gutter bones for Knight of Autumn. For the 2-1 two, for the 2-1. Two, and I get to draw a card. And they don't get to scry. All 
All right, so I'm hoping for not a third Night of Autumn. Y'all are hoping for a third Night of Autumn. I just refilled a Hawkeye's water cup with brand new cold water, and he's all happy. That was some good water, wasn't it? Ugh. I should have just done this before attacking. There's the card I needed. Um, I don't have that sp the specific list for that for that deck um, up here. Uh, YouTube. It's, somebody else could could help. Also could help iPad. I Hawkeye's in my way, but if somebody YouTube searches Ayara Citadel, that's the name of that deck. Hey, Fluky. GG's, GG's. All right, let me redo this next. Oh, Hawkeye, you're just in... Oh, whoops. All right, Hawkeye, I'm going to have to move you. Sorry. Sorry, boy. Okay, if you want to be the next person to play, go ahead and type the word battle into the chat if you want to be the next person. Um, yeah, Boshkar, yeah, I, I know that the it's my computer is dying. I understand that there's the, the lag issues. The computer is dying. In, um, in three days, I'll have all the parts for a new computer. One of the packages got delayed in the mail. And so on Tuesday, I'll be building that. And on Wednesday, we'll have a brand new computer and lag issues should be gone. But yeah, right now there's... It's just we're playing on a dying computer right now. I can't do anything about it till then. Okay. Everybody getting in there? All the subs that want to play next? Okay, let's let's see who's up next. Oh, it 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 is QQ image. <laughs> I guess so. All right, QQ, you're up. Uh, standard or, standard or historic? Which format would you like? Standard. All right, let's let the wheel decide what deck I'm playing up next. Esper Hero. All right. Okay. So our Esper Hero deck. Played this just the other day. Not too long ago. This is another Citadel deck. So I'm going to be kind of doing the same type of thing with Citadel. And here are Precinct 1 and a whole bunch of multicolor spells to take advantage of Hero of Precinct 1. All 
All right, make sure make sure you're on best of three there, QQ. And let's give it a try. Yeah, I'll pet you, Hawkeye. Okay. Mulligan. That's a good hand. Well, I guess... It's kind of hard to know exactly how good. Because Drown in the Lock isn't really a good opening card. It's possible I should have just put the Drown in the Lock back, honestly, and just kept the four lands. All right, we got Azoria stuff. Ooh, new sleeves. Un. Summon. All right, so Unsummon kind of gives me confidence that the hero won't just won't die right away if we play hero. That we don't need the thought razor to protect it, and I can get the higher upside of playing hero first and then. Thought Erasure. Boo. And get it a creature. Hmm. Hey, Samantha. Let's slow this down. Here we go. Yeah, get that out of here. I, of course, have the Mortify that can destroy it, too. Rule of law. The rule of law is there is no law. Could have thought Razor during draw stuff. I am not making this up as I go. Alright, so I'm basically just getting the Citadel in play, even though I can only cast the one spell because of Rule of Law. But just getting it in play right now. QQ could bounce the Citadel with the Borrower, which sets me back quite a bit. <laughs> I got some Von villain, villain vibes. Cat on my lap playing Esper. Good, good. Our evil plan, Hawkeye. Okay. 
coming to fruition. We have the Citadel. And we got Kaya to take the oath. This is just a particularly good... No! Oh. I was going to say this is a particularly good Citadel matchup, but man, that, that elite guard mage, that was a really good mill three. Because, yeah, uh, QQ is, of course, trying to mill us out. That's, that's what QQ is trying to do with the folio of fancies and stuff. Trying to mill us out. I could save the hero and put it back into my hands. And then the Brazen Borrower is gone. I also just kill the Brazen Borrower. With the Tyrant Scorn. Alright, bye Hawkeye. All right, one and zero. We're gonna take uh, duress veto Narset. I don't need time wipe. Doesn't seem like I need to spark. Don't really need Legion's End. And I guess I don't really need Othakaya. Even though it's possible that QQ has Teferi. I mean, it's it's cert very likely that there's Teferi. And so Othakaya does a good job of killing Teferi. So I'm going to play a couple of Othakayas. Could play on Mordigos instead. But we'll just go with Othakayas. I kind of like Tyrant Scorn at just saving my own creatures to, from sweepers and stuff. Oh, is it? Yeah, I haven't seen any of the scores at all today yet, Matthew. But Baylor's hanging with them. I liked. I thought Baylor was too big of an underdog. The spread was like nine. Baylor versus Oklahoma today. I mean, if Baylor wins it, there's a pretty good chance that they get into the the college football playoff. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I won't be watching. I won't be going back and watching that one. So yeah, you can tell me what's happened. Uh, Oklahoma did win in, in overtime. Okay. Good close game. So yeah, Scorn Scorn's kind of good at saving our creatures and stuff, but obviously with this hand we don't really need to save creatures. So we'll just um Put the scorn down to the bottom. Even though I have two Teferis. I am not going to sit this. Let's try this. No lands. Right on schedule. Trust me, I have a plan. 
Yeah, QQ sleeves are from the secret lair. The there's like seven sleeves with this the secret lair bundle. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh. This might be a bad idea. Finale of Glory. I did not see that one coming. I did not see that coming. So it's basically, do I want to hold up Dovin's veto? Huh. A little surprised at that block there. I think, so yeah, LS, LSU George about to start. I think... I think LSU is probably going to win that one. Um, yeah, I'd be pretty surprised if Georgia won, to be honest. Those who cannot perceive who have a thoughtfulness before action. Are you a Bama fan, Kendis? I am not. <laughs> you need Virginia to win for Florida to go to the playoffs. I don't. I don't think even if Vir I don't think Florida's going to the playoffs. I don't think there's any chance Florida goes to the playoffs. Honestly, I don't. Even like even if if Virginia wins, I don't. I don't think that means Florida goes to the playoffs. Ah, uh, gotcha, Candace. Hey, see Wookies. Oh, nice, Sakrasta. Okay, Mardu deck with a lot of sticky one and two drops and Doom Foretolds. Cool. Trust yeah, I don't think I don't think there's any chance that Bama or Florida go to the playoffs because neither one like those. I don't think there's any chance that a team that was not in it, not even in the conference championship game, is going to try to to be able to play for the national t the national title. Keep an open mind. Don't make another move. Hey, feature. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Um, it's it's been over a year, see Wookies. Don't worry, I got this.
Yeah, I, yeah, I know. I should have said please. I didn't, though. But I should have. Um... Oh, no, double block there. That should definitely be a double block. Hey, Monty. Yeah, we got Esper Hero here with this, this deck that we're playing here today. I, yeah, I didn't qualify, Targaryen. You had to, got to qualify for it, and I did not. I've got time. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think so. If QQ watches this back later, whenever, he, whenever he played the, the finale and made the four tokens, all all four tokens should block the bell hunt, or at least two. I can't do any. I can't play any instants because of the Teferi, so I couldn't stop. It's like, you know, just chump locked with the 2-2, two, two, but they could have just had the 2-2 two, two kill the bell haunt. So basically, the bell haunt could have just been dead. I'm known for my excellent timing. Come on, computer. I'll protect you. Yeah, yeah. I. I yeah, I'm I'm fine not playing Targaryen. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Yeah, so with it, yeah, for the new computer, just just three more days, including today. So I, I kept the Dovin's Veto up there. But yeah, we just have today's stream, and then Sunday and Monday streaming. And then... <clears throat> and then I'll build... I'll build it on Tuesday, and then new stream on Wednesday. All right, well, Esper looked really good there. And that's that's def that's definitely it's all good, QQ. It's definitely a pretty good matchup for Esper. Well, like that's that's just like what Esper is kind of built for is you know with all the you know with having duress and thought erasure and Dovin's veto, just good cheap interaction for those things there. Yeah, I am Kendis. I haven't. Um, I have. Uh, first, first, let's let's see who's gonna be the next person up. 
All right, if you want to be the next player, if you are a subscriber and you want to play against me next, type battle into the chat now. But yeah, I'm taking all of Tuesday off to build the computer because, um, you know, it's not like it's going to be, it's not going to just be at my house, you know, like right away. It's probably going to come, you know, like around noon or, or whatever, um, you know, like whenever a package does. So probably around then. I do at, also at noon on Tuesday, I had a, a vet appointment for Hawkeye. So, you know, like that could take, you know, a little while. So, so you know, maybe, uh, you and that's like 20 minutes away. So you know, maybe I get home around 1.30. Stream would normally start at 3. I mean, I, I'm going to have to like start building the computer then. And I've never built a computer before or anything. It's going to take a while. And then I also have to like get everything set up, like get the um, all of my settings set up, you know, like especially with like the the sound that I have and everything. It's, it's going to take a while. So, I yeah, I'm not going to be able to stream on Tuesday also. It's not something that I'm going to be able to do real fast. Yeah, yep, yep, QQ. Yeah, you should have team blocked up for the first bell hunt. Yeah, and killed the first bell hunt. Yep. Right, and it's not just building the PC. It's it's then trying to get all the all of my stream settings and everything on there too. It would take a little while. Ooh, I need zip ties. Okay, that's 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 good. Thanks for the heads up there, Jack of Hearts. I have to go get some zip ties. If there's anything else that I should get before building, y'all let me know. No, standard or or historic, either one. All right, looks like everybody's in there. Let's see who's up next. Fiery Aspen. All right, what format do you want to play? And send me that gamer tag. There's the gamer tag. Standard. All right, let's spin this wheel. See what deck I'm playing up next. Oh, yeah, ins installing Windows can take a while. Ooh, Mono Black Discard. All right, our next Mono Black deck. Metal Bracelet Ties. All right, here's Mono Black Discard, one of my favorite decks. Oh, I guess I have to click on it over here to show it. So there we go. And here we go. <laughs> jumped up when the wheel started is the wheel too loud i i'm kind of asking that i kind of think that it may be but i haven't seen i haven't seen any kind of um way to make it softer uh she's on the other couch now the cat was scared of the, the wheel noise oh, i'm sorry Yep, that's that's kind of the plan. Yeah, Eric. Yeah, give myself plenty of time, keep everything organized. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna be doing that all 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 night. Oh, is it a mill deck or just control deck? See, so I need like plenty of plenty of space. Like I'm gonna be using like this table right here. It's like, um, maybe a four foot by three foot table. Probably like five foot by three foot table. Is that enough space? Can you do that? Can you turn down the sound of a browser? 
that, is that a thing you can do? Plenty of space, good. Oh, took my other burglar rat. Rats. Uh oh. So this ne thing needs seven cards in the graveyard to attack. Oh, you use volume mixer. Oh, okay. That would make sense. Rude. All right, that thing can't block like at all anyway. Right, I should have just rankled. Right, can't block. They're just rankled and sacrificed. Well, normally I'd like duress here, considering my opponent didn't play. You know, Fire Aspen didn't play anything, but I can't duress and wrinkle, and I have a backup wrinkle anyway, even if it is a counter spell. All right, I'm gonna need to reset arena though after this. Yeah, I played the Reaper instead of the Rankle because I, I thought the 5-4 could block. I just... I messed that up. I think, like, the, the deck looks pretty good here. So here we go. Okay, get some bowls to keep track of screws and other small bits. I should write these things down. Keep. Yeah, good thing I'm writing this down, because I already figured out what the other thing I was supposed to get was. Twist ties? Twist ties. For wires. So I need to worry about static? What do I need to do to worry about static? Are zip ties better than like twist ties? Like, because I, I have twist ties like, you know, like from bread, like those things. I have those. Do I need to, should I specifically go get zip ties though? I don't have zip ties. Okay, so not twist ties, zip ties.
This is specifically for the 5-4. The 5-4 is going to kill me. This this 1-2 is just not going to kill me. It's a 1-2. I'll be fine. <laughs> Twist eyes are weak and look janky. I know. Sounds like me. Weak and look janky. All right, what else you got going on over here? We're getting a didn't say please. All right, fine. Zip ties. Ooh, Velcro ties. Touch the metal edge of the computer case each time before you reach into it or pick up one of the pieces of electronics. Ah, Castle Lock Twain. I was like, what did my opponent use all this mana on? Fiery Aspen. All right, so obviously Liliana is just going to die to the Murderous Rider. It's what the Murderous Rider... It's the role of the Murderous Rider in hand is to kill the Liliana. But I think I'm still just I willing to here. let that happen. That you know basically fight. takes Fiery Aspen's turn here. If I had like another card to play with a Yara and we could, you know, have a, a better turn, I, maybe I'd go a Yara plus something else. But that's fine. Plus, I have like with having the double castles, getting cards out of my hand is is just a good. Um, it's a good idea. Don't secure cables, and the airflow will create eddies. Cool. That was a great card to draw. Empty your mind. All I've left you is pain. I'm on fire today. All right. Who's up next? 
GG's there, Fiery Aspen. GG's. I always do really well with that mono black discard deck. It's just um, uh, you flood it out really bad. I'm sorry, Fire Aspen. It's it's kind of weird. It's it's basically a make your opponent's deck not do what it's supposed to do deck. That's what it does. So you're like, like, well, what's he like? Your awesome curve house this deck really powerful. It's, well, it's not, but it makes the other person's deck not as good as it's supposed to be. All right, so yeah, so those of y'all that are subscribers, you want to be next up, type the word battle like everybody else. Yeah, Factory, I mean, it's it's um, it's because the Mythic Championship's going on, so yeah, that's why we have a lower viewer count than normal. And stream just started an hour ago. Goldan! Thank you so much there, Goldan. Subbing here, our sixth sub on the day already. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. All right, is everybody in there? So, Goldan, if you want to get in there, type the word battle if you want to play. Uh, that's why you weren't happy to see it. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry there, Aspen. Okay, let's see who's up. Kendis. Alright, which format do you want, Kendis? Yeah, it doesn't have it. Alright, which format? Standard. Haven't played since the Yoko Band. It's, it's a good format again. Oh, Golgari Food. Golgari Food is usually better against the discard deck. Simic Ramp. Usually Golgari, like Golgari Food, because you, know, you can just like discard Cauldron Familiar and bring it back. That's a very good card against a discard strategy. All right, good luck, Hendis. All right, so we have Simic Ramp here. Let's give it a try. Ooh, best of three. Ah, gotcha. Jank Golgari food. Very heavy on food aspect. Gotcha, gotcha. You have the next sets in January. Uh, should be like mid to late January. Probably like around the 20th. Hmm. Opponent has mulliganed and we're on the draw. Yeah, next set, yep, next set is Theros. Should be pretty sweet. Hallowed Fountain. Ooh. Azorius Flyas. Land. Darn. This is a 26 land deck that we're playing this time. I did, of course, keep a two lander with us being on the draw. On the play, I would have mulliganed our hand. Hmm.
Well, if Kendis has one of the breakout cards like um, Rally, the Ancestors, that's not the name of the word. Or that's not the name of the card. Rally of Wings. There we go, Rally of Wings. If he's got something like Rally of Wings. We're going down. There's the Rally of Wings. Not Rally the Ancestors. Hey, Frisky Biscuits. Hey, Triton. Oh, Triton said hi. What's up, Triton? Okay. What do I got? I got some fight stuff. But fight stuff's not good against Hushbringer. But it's just what I got. Hushbringer is good good card. Good card. All right, Aspen. See you in an hour. Yeah, Azorius, guys, it's definitely a good best of one deck for sure. So basically, I cannot... No, I didn't want to attack with the, the goose. Uh, my plan here this turn was to activate the goose. Ugh, did not want to attack with the goose. Mess that up. Whoops. The plan the negated course is to counter that rally of wings. <laughs> Sending a message, getting that goose in here. And the angry goose. Ow, ow. Swift there. Just like real geese, they will destroy you if you look at them the wrong way. So I could have played Cavalier with Thorns last turn, but I could not have Negate available as well if I would have done that. And I wanted to have Negate available as well.
So even a rally, like a rally of wings doesn't save the Imperion Eagle by making it a 5-6. I think this game's going to be a lot about Hushbringer, though. So I do not have an answer for Hushbringer. It's a great card for this matchup. Great card against my deck. Like if Kendis just goes turn two Hushbringer here. I'm pretty dead. Yay. So yeah, basically, you know, like Wicked Wolf doesn't trigger, Voracious Hider doesn't trigger, the the leaf can like the risen reefs don't trigger anymore. Basically, nothing would trigger anymore. That's what the shocking was all about. Hmm. That card's very good too. So all the other flyers are indestructible now. Have to hit a lot of lands. And get a voracious hydra to be able to kill a Safara. No, probably not Alcator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can play Nissa and then and then I can play a big enough voracious hydra to kill Safara. But I still die. Then I cuz I can have the goose block the borrower, but I'm still taking one, you know, I'm taking 5 and I'm at 4.
So I guess I need to do... Guess I have to play Krasis and jump. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Yeah, basically the second one there, Triton. I was gonna take like some of the po my popular decks and make sideboard stra strategies for them. That's what I was gonna be doing there. Adamant. Harness the elements. So nine. I guess that is big enough to just to trade with Safara, I guess. A rally of wings is still gonna kill me, but now we at least get to stay alive on board. I guess I didn't realize I was gonna be able to make that that large. I thought I was gonna have to chump block with with Krasis, but I guess not. So yeah, if you if you have like suggestions of like a deck, you know, like one of my normal decks that, that you really like that you think I should make a cyborg guide for. For the Patreon, you just let me know. I mean I guess I don't even have to block the borrower. A little surprised just everything's not attacking. Like why why would why would everything not attack? Oh, because you need to play another Safara. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Um That's nine. Behold, nature's true power. Thirty-two. So eight. So six. I guess with eight man, I could do double Wicked Wolf. Kill that. Kill that. Then I'm going down to one with an attack. If I play this for six, I go back up to seven. I have to go like block, block. It may be better just to do the, the double Wicked Wolf. I get that extra land. Basically, I, I, hope, I hope there's not a Hushbringer now. The old Grixis discard deck working historic. Yeah, I'm not sure if... If the disinformation campaign is is good enough, honestly. One, two, three, four, five.
That's the main... That's the main thing there. Um, but the, the Grixis Control... I just played a Grixis Control in Historic a little bit ago, Mountain Wind Cat. Um, I think on Tuesday. And that was definitely what I had in mind, was the old uh, Grixis discard. That's why I kind of built it around... Alright, so we should be able to kill a whole bunch of stuff here. I guess I could have attacked for an extra three. Guess I could attack for three more. Got to play five fight bears in a single turn. Has anybody played five fight creatures in a single turn before? I I have never seen that ever before with all the games I've played in Magic. I've never seen five fight creatures in one turn played before. I know, all these all these poor birdies getting eaten by the wolves. Those poor birdies. Well, I got pretty lucky there. No Rally of Wings and no Hushbringer. Either one of those cards would have defeated me. So I got pretty lucky there. GG's, Candice. Yeah, no no copying. No, yeah, no quasi-duplicate. No flicker effects. Nothing. Just casting five fight creatures in one turn. I've never seen that before. That's that's a record. Ugh, that's definitely a record there. All right, let's... Let's see who's up next. Man. No, it was just so close. It was just so close. All right, if you want to be... Um, if you're a subscriber, you want to play up next, type the word of battle into the chat. So, Chris, type the word battle again. You got You have to type it after where it says giveaway started. You typed it a little too early. <laughs> hey, Rodero. I might as well just restart while y'all are while y'all are typing battle. There we go. Hey Zaxor, made some changes to the Gruel deck with a lot of success. You remove the Harpooner and you put in the the ambush instead from the sideboard, and fill the sideboard slot with Vine Mare. Okay. You don't. You haven't felt like you have too few creatures with taking the Harpooners out. All right, any, anybody else? Any other subscribers want to be in? If so, type the word battle. Last chance. And yeah, real there, I'm feeling good. Definitely feeling good. Thanks, Fluky. So yeah, if there's a non-sub that wants to battle as well. All right, it looks like everybody's in there, though. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's just because you had the the word battle in there. Sorry, sorry. Let's let's do that. Re redo that one. All right, boot, you're up. <laughs> which which format do you want to play, boot? And, of course, I need the gamer tag. He 
You want standard or historic? Okay, standard. So I'm going to spin the wheel. What do I got? Sultai ramp. We just played a ramp deck. Just played Simic ramp. Now we got Sultai ramp. The Sultai Ramp, this is the one from the Mythic Championship that we just played yesterday on stream. <clears throat> Where we're ramping into Gadwick and Casualties. The old casual ties. Yeah, that makes sense, Axer. Yeah, Vine Mare is perfect against mono black control. So that makes sense. I like it. Do 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 do. Ooh, Mardu. I think I'm supposed to do this right now just to kind of see if... And I don't. I was going to say see if we have, like, another two-mana thing to play. You know, like, maybe we would draw another Incubation Druid or Paradise Druid or something like that. Darn. I was hoping to be able to adapt the Incubation Druid first. Like, that's what I was going to be doing with my five mana, is adapting Incubation Druid and then untapping and casting Gadwick. So right now, Gadwick is for three. Which isn't, isn't a ton. Obviously, it would be more if I waited. I think that's fine. We, of course, want to draw another Gadwick or a Hydroid Crisis. There's Crisis. My computer doesn't like Nissa. Yeah, I said it during during the preview season. I kept I I took a like whenever so like you know like we do the we talk about like all the new cards from the set um on like one of the streams like we're the set reviews. And so during the set review I definitely talked about how um, how Gadwick was a was just a really good card, and you know talked talked about it quite a bit with it being a good card. And compared it to Crisis, and people thought it was kind of far off. They'd, a lot of people didn't think it was that good, but I like that card a lot. All right, so two, four, six. 8, 10, 12, 14. Uh, 
Raisin Bar, we're looking as good as it, as it ever has. Basically a two-man Anissa for a turn, even if the Nissa gets Prison Realmed again. That's fine. It did its job. Makes sense to take the Krasis now, though. Because now if I get rid of Prison Realm, the Krasis is just gone. So, like, Krasis is a great card to Prison Realm. It's just a 0-0. Zero, zero. You have to get the one land with a card style. Could play the Paradise Druid, but I think it's pretty likely. I think the Sweeper is kind of likely. Since, you know, like, Boots at three. Kind of needs a Sweeper to stay alive anyway. So yeah, I would have just thrown that thing out there to a sweeper. It's not super necessary. I'm kind of expecting the Brazen Borrower to finish this off with fires. We can kind of wait, have Boot play two spells, and then we borrow her. All right, so Mardu Enchantments. This is a pretty good Casualties of War matchup, not going to lie. Pretty good Casualties of War matchup. Definitely want the, all the disdainful strokes. Incubation Druid can get swept up by Clarion. Took a couple of those out and a borrower. And I'm going to get the plain white celebration as well. Rakdos. Yep, there will be, Kendis. Yeah. <laughs> that that song's about my my computer right now. The one touch and I ignite. Yeah, yep, so yeah, that's what we'll do, Kendis. If if uh if we've gone through all the subscribers today, then yeah, we'll be doing a, a round two. And open it back up to people who have played again. So pretty good hand for me with these growth spirals. Very good against Doom Foretold, if Boots playing Doom Foretold. Um I'll just pass. No. 
Should have played the Tamiyo. So my plan was to grow spiral this turn, next turn play Hydroid Krasis with six mana to draw two. Boot kills Krasis, then I play Tamiyo and pick Krasis back up. That was kind of my plan. So basically get the time walk with the Brazen Borrower. Crow Spiral is such a good card. Just look how many lands we have. We have so many. So many lands. All right, and this is where Castle will help us out. Yeah, there's, yep, there's four circuitous routes in the deck. So there's two Demir Guildgate, because there's just lots of basic forests, and so there's like two Demir Guildgate to go grab. To help with the blue and the black mana. Tilt. Gadwick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Am I supposed to draw all those? I have to just discard two. It's probably fine. Um, what two do we want to discard? Paradise Druid and Overgrown mm, Water Grave. Ah, oh, we gotta discard three. Right. Yeah, Lacey, I've been getting been getting some good draws today. All right, Merriman's back. I thought I outlawed that card, but I guess not. Green, blue. Power surges through these lands.
land fights for us. Wow, wow, wow. Of course, I'm just going after the black sources. Sorry. Just so much mana. When all you're doing is playing circuitous routes and growth spirals. Just the amount of mana that I've spent compared to the amount of mana that Boots spend in this game. It's been much different, especially, you know, like you add in the Castle of Antresses. And that's a lot of standard is casting more mana. Or spending more mana, sorry. Uh, yeah, Toti, I am actually. I have. Um, I'm gonna be playing that tomorrow. I have a donation to play. Is it Flash tomorrow? So that's on the docket there. Destroy all the lands. Yeah, to view, to view the... Um, there you go, Toti. Thank you so much, Fluky, for gifting out the sub. Santa Fluky. Yeah, sorry, Boot. That... That's a really bad matchup for you. A, a deck that's just all it's doing is ramping into casualties of wars. That's rough. Um, all right, so if you want to be the next person to play, if you are a subscriber, type the word battle into the chat now. Right here where it says giveaway started. So type the word battle there. So yeah, how to view the battlefield when you're scrying. There's a button on the top right hand part. It's behind my camera, so you wouldn't be able to see it. But there's a button up there that says uh, battlefield. So you know, whenever you're scrying, click that. And then you can view the battlefield and view the graveyard and stuff like that. And then, and then you have to click it back again to go back to your scry. So that's, that's how you do that. <clears throat> All right, so get on in there.
Uh, I am bullying today. Was that, was that the fifth match? Is that supposed to be a five over here now? I don't remember. All right, is everybody in there? Yeah, it's true. Yep, when you're sideboarding, if you're like... Okay. Papa Tim. Oh, because Papa Tim, you just said the word battlefield. Okay. But you're not actually in. You don't want to be in it. Yeah, because if you say if you have just the word battle whatsoever in your in your text. <laughs> All right, I'll redo it then. Dizzy. All right, Dizzy. <laughs> You're putting up your Christmas tree? Nice. All right, so send me that gamer tag, Dizzy. Let me know what, what format do you want, standard or historic? Which format do you want? We're gonna do one more match and then I'll then we'll reset and we'll do the next uh, start for the next video. We'll have you know like three videos here for today to break it up. All right, standard. Hopefully not a ramp deck. Hopefully we get something else. Those may be the only two ramp decks. I'm not sure. Gruel Henge. Gruel Henge. All right, Gruel Henge is sweet. There you go. Thanks, Luki. Yep, there's my gamer tag right there. All right, so yeah, so we're just kind of playing like some some big mid range threats, a bunch of ambush, and kind of ramping into the Great Henge using Cavalier Thorns to help ramp into the Great Henge. So a little bit more of a defensive take on Gruel. Ugh. And of course, make sure you have it selected as best of three. You got this, Dizzy. Okay, I did update the sub count, so we're good there. So tomorrow is going to be an early stream. It's Sunday. We do this Sunday matinee streams here. Like we're start two hours early on Sunday. All right. So yeah. So Dizzy right now, since nothing's happening, that means that some, some letter is off somewhere. So either you have something messed up or I do all the capitalization matters. Look at your screen. What's, what's wrong here from what you're looking at to here. So yeah, let, there's there's some number or letter or something off. So let me know what what um what's wrong. Okay, it's dizzy 180. No problem. That's a three. All right, here we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, is there is there an underscore also? No underscore. Okay. All right, did you hit challenge? There it goes. Perfect. All right, well, this is a very gruel looking hand. Just dropping beasts. Our deck could definitely do that with the haste stuff, but we don't have tons of haste. It's mostly Spellbreaker and Questing Beast. But of course, we still got some. So sometimes we can look like regular old gruel. Has anybody ever seen a Questing Beast actually attack? You just never get to see it because the animation just covers it up. It's like, it's basically unblockable because you can never get to see that it's actually attacking whenever it comes down. Like, the first turn, it's unblockable. Then the deck. Ooh, that's a good, good call there. Thanks, Boot. So you do need a a target for this ambush. You can't just play it to put a counter on something. You do have to have um, a target creature or planeswalker you don't control on the battlefield to cast it. Yeah, that was a, obviously a very good draw for me. All right. Let's get a Kiora, a Ravager Worm, and some Bone Crusher Giants, question mark? Because I, I don't think we really need the Ambushes or the Anarchobuluses. So we're going to take out those. I guess I'll take out a Lebrontodon. Could take out the Sunder Shaman instead of Lebrontodon. We'll just take out Lebrontodon. Oh, nice, Kendis. There you go. You have just the text file on your computer that has your gamer tag and my gamer tag on it. You can just copy paste them. Sub validate. Awesome. Man, I am I am so excited for this new computer, y'all. So excited. Ooh, can you build a gruel deck that has no no Domri in it whatsoever in any card? Like so there's no Domri's ambush, like a gruel deck that does not have Domri in any picture, in any art. No Domri Gruel. Is that Domri getting stepped on? No. Domri getting eaten? No. Domri riding a horse? Basically. Domri's going through the Great Henge here. The past, present, and put thoughtfulness before action. Fury will only lead you astray. Does that have Domri? Okay, no Domri here. Mm. 
Hmm. <laughs> that speak of the children. Just the trick for this. Overwhelming. No. Okay, or even Domri's name in the flavor text. You can't have Domri's name in the flavor text either. Responsibility. Don't worry, I got this. All right, looks like none of these cards have Domri in the flavor text. Um, took the Cavalier Thorns. Yeah, more Rurikthar. That'd be a good one. Oh, it's a new Narset. Yeah, because I was I was like, how did how did that happen? Hmm. All right, probably out in our sets. Probably. I'm about 75% sure that they're out in our sets. I'd say. Just about 75% sure. No D before. No, I'm planning on building it myself. I'll have help. But I'm. Um, I don't have anyone coming over to build it. So one man away from going Kiora plus Ravager Worm. I think I'm just gonna go Ravager Worm. Could have the removal for Ravager Worm. I hope not. Yep. We draw another land though, and then I'd be able to Kiora plus Ravager Worm. Darn. Wait. 
Oh, they took the Greyhenge. I just realized that. Why do I have Krakens? Oh, just can't help myself. <laughs> they did not take the Ravager Worm. Alright, so two Great Henges down. Yeah, two Great Henges down. Oh, really installing window windows in the drivers are going to be the hardest part? Yeah, I am not familiar with that at all. Let's get moving. More sweepers. Ooh, getting rid of Akaya's Wrath. It's bold. Alright, come on, computer, you can do it. Almost got it. Alright. That's back to normal. No, I won't be playing any Troll Knights today. Oh, I, I mean, maybe. It's on It's on the wheel. Uh, basically, what we're doing today is I'm playing against subscribers all day. And and so if you'd like to play against me, you can. And so that, that's what we're doing. We're, I'm just playing against subscribers. And I have a wheel that has it had 44 decks on it, including Troll Knights. Troll Knights is on there that I'm just spinning uh, to figure out what decks I'm playing each round. Play a different deck every round. All right, but speaking of that... Um, that's going to be part one. For those of y'all on YouTube, we're going to make it a three-part thing here with our seven-hour stream to kind of break it up um, a little bit so it's not just one seven-hour YouTube video. So that's the end of, of part one. Hope you click on over for part two of our sweet sub-battle Saturday stream. Yeah, we'll go with that. All right, thanks so much for watching, though. Oh, yeah, hit that like button over there, of course. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for, the, for part two starting now.